so hello everyone in this video we are going to discuss problem b which is deja vu so in this problem we are given a array of n integers and also another array x of length q both are having positive integers and we are given q queries in each query we have to find the number in the array a which is divisible by xi so the number which is divisible by xi we have to increment it value by 2 to the power xi minus 1 and you have to process all the q queries and at the last you have to output the array a which will be a modified array so the problem is really simple but you have to see some observation so see that if you gonna implement it brute forcely the time complexity of this algorithm will go up to n into q because for each query suppose for this xi you will find all the numbers which are divisible by 2 to the power 2 so you will find the numbers which are divisible by 4 and increment it value by 2 to the power 1 that is 2 similarly after this you will find what are the numbers which are divisible by 2 to the power 3 that is 8 and increment its value by 2 to the power 2 which is 4 similarly you will find what are the numbers in the array a which are divisible by 2 to the power 4 that is 16 and increments that numbers by 2 to the power 3 that is 8 so for each xi you are running the loop for n times so complexity will be q into n and in the worst case the complexity will be n into q which is 10 to the power 10 and it will not accept our solution because the maximum value of any particular query can be go up to 10 for it so let us see what will be the optimal solution so you know that suppose you are given a number like 0 1 1 0 1 so the number is divisible by 2 whenever the last bit is 0 because if the last bit is 0 then we know that the number is even and the even number is divisible by 2 similarly the number is divisible by 4 when its last two bits are 0 so whenever last two bits are 0 the number is divisible by 4 similarly for a number to be divisible by 8 last three bits should be 0 and likewise the number should be divisible by 16 when last four bits are zero okay these are the divisibility criteria in a bitwise representation of a number okay so now let us suppose you are given numbers like this okay so these are the numbers and you have queries like x1 equal to 8 or x1 equal to 3 x2 equal to 3 x4 x3 is equal to 2 x4 equal to 2 and likewise x100 suppose it's equal to 2 all numbers are 2 so see that when x3 equal to 2 the number which is having 3 bits in the rightmost which are 0 with this number will be divisible by 3 so this number and this number will be divisible by 3 so what we are going to do we are going to add 2 to the power 3 minus 1 or we are adding 2 to the power 2 or 4 so this bit will be set so the last bit which was set the adjacent rightmost bit will be set so here these two bit will get set this one and this one so this bit will get set okay and no other number will be divisible by 2 to the power 3 because for the number to be divisible by 2 to the power 3 last 3 bit should be 0 and here we are having some set bits so they will be not divisible by 0 
now we have processed this query now in another query we are having x2 equal to 3 now see that is there any number which is having 3 bits sets definitely not and why so because in the earlier query only we have find it that when we are having 3 bit set we have make its adjacent rightmost bit set making it that there will be no such a digit which will be having 3 bits unset or there will be now there will be no number which will be divisible by 8 so this is the main observation which you can get that whenever we have processed a query of a particular type so there is no need of again processing the query because the number will be never gonna be divisible by that number okay so what you can do you can create a map like if we have processed a particular query of three then whenever uh, again a three number will came we will say that we have already processed it and we didn't need to process process it again so as we know that the value of x is from 0 to 30 singular n operations will be applied 30 times so complexity of our algorithm will be 30 into n which can be run in big O of n time so this was the solution of this problem i will show you the explanation and the code so this is the code how i have implemented it so i have taken input n and m and i query and we didn't need to process it see that we are making mp of q of k that is it is processed and whenever it is again coming so we are continue the loop so that it is not running again else if it is the first time where we are running the loop at that time we are finding which are the number that are divisible by 2 to the power xi so the numbers which are div divisible by 2 to the power xi 